Hi everyone, it's Marina and Joe. Welcome to our P&O Iona Northern Europe Cruise Embarkation Day video. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to catch the rest of our Iona Cruise series. We have a wonderful seven night Northern Europe cruise on Iona in December 2021. This was our first cruise with port days since the start of the pandemic and we weren't quite sure what to expect. Sadly, COVID restrictions had closed many of the Christmas markets that we'd planned to visit. However, we were still able to make the most of our time ashore. Arriving in Southampton with time to spare before our allotted COVID test, we took the opportunity to explore Ocean Village, right next to Ocean Terminal and Iona herself. Hi. Where are we? Hi. We are at the Ocean Terminal, waiting for our COVID test results. Um, we're just going to head upstairs um, so that we can get ourselves in the right place to be when the results come in. Ooh. We were really impressed with the embarkation and testing process, which took around 30 minutes from start to finish. Excited! Yay! We're on. Nearly. We're on. We're about to go on the gangway. Oh, she's got her own little envelope. Ooh. Should we open it and get our key cards out? Yeah. All right, what have we got? So, ooh, Freya's got two envelopes, actually. Sure. Shall I see what's in her first envelope? Yeah. She's got three, actually. Has she? Oh, yeah, she's One, got three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's Freya's cruise, um, nice. cruise card. So, what's in here? That is. See. Okay, mobility assistance for uh, having okay, a child. They must be. Maybe having push chairs. Yeah, yeah, I'll be doing push chairs. Um. Okay. Okay. And then this must be the children's club. Oh, that's children's club there as well. Ooh. Oh, Freya's little children's wristband. club wristband. It's a it's a cruise boat, isn't it? So this. Oh, these are allocations. Oh, okay, so these are the times that she's booked to go in. Nice. It's really good. Lovely. As we had a late embarkation time, we headed straight to the Opal restaurant for dinner, but sadly forgot our camera. After a long and exciting day of travel and embarkation, our daughter was tired out, but there was still time for me to have a nighttime explore. Located on deck 16, Iona's Lido deck was only two decks above our cabin. This deck is where you will find the superb Sky Dome, as well as the Horizon Buffet. Like the rest of the ship, the Sky Dome was wonderfully decorated for the Christmas period, adding to its already impressive lighting, as well as that magnificent glass dome. Containing the ship's inside pool, two bars, a gelateria and Taste 360, a street food venue, the Sky Dome transforms at night, hosting musical performances and breathtaking aerial displays. After a short, festively decorated walk after the Sky Dome, I was in the Horizons Buffet. This has to be our favourite buffet anywhere in the P&O fleet. Beautifully decorated, with plenty of service stations, the Horizon Buffet offers a great range of food but its real strength comes in its seating layout, which is broken down into brilliantly decorated sections, giving it a more intimate feel. Carrying on after the buffet, I found myself in the infinity pool and infinity bar area. Here you will find one of Iona's two infinity pools, with breathtaking views straight off them after the ship. Connected to the second infinity pool on deck 18 by a waterfall and children's splash zone, this is one of the most popular parts of the ship on a sunny sea day. It also lights up beautifully at night. It's worth noting though that when the wind picks up, that waterfall has quite the splash zone. Deck 17 offers great views of the back of the ship, as well as hosting two hot tubs and Iona's deck games area. This is where you'll find a large number of organized activities during a sea day. However, you can use the games for free at any other time. Walking past the waterfall and heading up to deck 18, I found myself at the Panorama Pool and Bar next to the sports courts and golf nets. Just like Deck 16, this is very busy on a sunny sea day and offers fantastic views. Heading back down to Deck 17, 
I walked forward on the port side of the ship, taking me past the surface outdoor play area. This is a brilliant facility, used by some of the younger age groups in the Reef, Iona's Children's Club. Continuing forward on deck 18, I found myself back in the Sky Dome, this time looking down on the pool and stage area below. The Sky Bar can be found in this part of the Sky Dome. Heading back into the Horizons Buffet, I decided to grab a nighttime snack. And I have to say, this lentil pie was one of the best things I've ever eaten at sea. Something that you can hopefully see from this video is how quiet the buffet was. This wasn't being filmed particularly late, roughly half past nine in the evening, which shows how much space there was on board. Nighttime hunger satisfied, I returned to the Sky Dome to catch the evening's entertainment, an excellent vocal trio called the Voxens. This was a great performance, and luckily not their last during this cruise. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Join us next time for our first port day in Belgium. Thanks for watching.